The looming railroad strike has potential catastrophic repercussions on the economy. The railroad is estimating a strike would cost the economy $2 billion a day, and that's why President Biden says he is asking Congress to pass legislation imposing a compromise agreement. The U.S. House is set to vote on that today, but four out of the 12 unions voted that agreement down. The current tentative deal is set to expire next Friday. A key sticking point, unions want paid sick time and do not want rail carriers penalizing workers for taking time off. President Biden has dubbed himself a proud pro-labor president. Joining me now to discuss or dissect the potential backlash he will likely get from this decision is former U.S. representative and radio host Joe Walsh. Mr. Walsh, thank you for joining us. Good to be with you. So if Congress passes this legislation, uh, what, is, what backlash is the president facing? Uh, is he going to lose his good standing with the unions? You know, he'll, he'll face some backlash because this is... Uh, let, let's be real. Uh, reality set in. This is not Biden's historic position. What's he doing? He's imposing an agreement on the unions. He's taking away the union's ability to strike. And as you said, the, the four biggest unions of the 12 in this deal don't support this deal. But reality set in. Biden's president, economic reality. I mean, the economy will take a $2 billion hit every day under a strike. And, and Joe Biden is president. He can't allow that to happen. And I think he's also thinking of the fact that Republicans will take over the House in January. And if they had to impose some sort of an agreement on this, uh, we don't know what that agreement would look like. So it's bad, but it could be worse. I want to bring up the last time we might have had a rail strike. That was 1992. President Biden was one of just a handful of senators that voted against imposing a settlement on the labor unions back then. Only six senators voted against it. He was one of them. He said the terms were unfavorable for workers. So has something changed in the last 30 years, or is it just a different kettle of fish to be president versus being a senator? <laughs> He's, the, the thing that's changed is his job title. He's president. Look, this is and this is really serious. This this law is rarely used, as you mentioned, uh, having Congress intervene to impose an agreement. Biden has historically opposed this. Uh, you're taking away the union's right to strike. Um, as a United States senator, an easy position for Joe Biden to take. As president. Uh, under, uh, you know, overseeing a, an economy that might take a $2 billion hit every day, uh, you, you, you can't allow that. So, yes, hypocrisy, sure. A compromise, sure. Political, sure. Pre Biden has a different job now. Uh, well, I, I got to ask you one more thing. Uh, back in September, he helped negotiate this thing. He said that the rail companies and the unions, the leadership were on board. Now, they took it back to their rank and file who voted it down. So will it be that big of an impact on unions because he did work with the unions before deciding to shut down the bargaining process? I, I really don't, I don't think so. Uh, because remember, this was a compromise agreement. Uh, the union is, was able to garner a 24% pay increase, some other cash bonus um, increases. The sticking point is the unpaid leave. Historically, the rail, uh, these rail companies and the unions have always had an agreement uh, where, where they'd increase compensation and other benefits in lieu of unpaid sick time. So I don't, I think there'll be an initial kerfuffle here from many in the union. But again, the alternative could have been much worse in January under a Republican pres uh, Congress. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.